my fabulous friends. It is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for day number 27 of Scraptember and 30 days of scrapbook sketches. So this is our gorgeous sketch for today and the prompt is to use a long title. So you can see that I have already done my triangles and I'm just showing you what I use to pierce my own holes and to stitch up on my pages if I am doing some hand stitching. Now I obviously changed up the direction of my diagonal cut here all just to do with that superhero pattern paper i as you can tell have already used this paper before that's why there's a little chunk missing and to get enough to go halfway across the page and to have the pattern going in the right direction it needed to go this way so as simple as that and that is why it is um the diagonals in the opposite direction. Now, I know that that does not matter. The sketch is just a prompt to get you started, but I just thought I'd show you that uh, even though there was a chunk missing out of the center of this page, I could still use it. Um, I decided as well with a few of the little scraps, I would cut out the little words and the little superhero boys and I'd pop those up on foam and just give that sort of superhero side of the paper a little bit of dimension and a little bit of pizzazz going on with it. So while I am busy just filling all of those bits and bobs in, I thought I'd talk to you about day number 27. So don't forget to check that description box down below. We are of course collaborating with the lovely Laura Alberts. Um, she has a layout ready for today as well as Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life for our 30 days of scrapbooking sketches. We also have awesome special guests and our special guest for today is Erica Breezy over at California Lucky. So make sure you check out her channel as well as all the other amazing scrapbook ladies that are participating for all 30 days of our challenge. So make sure you check her out check them all out. Now the prompt for today was to use a long title and I think I managed that. You can see that I'd stuck it onto the edge of my laptop there just so I had it all in order and had it all sorted out and make sure I had the correct um, letters that I needed and all of those things. This is a photo of my little man dressed up as Catboy from the TV show PJ Masks. You can see that the show was on in the background. I think that's where he got the idea that he wanted to put the costume on. And so I went with the title, Let's Go Catboy, It's Time to Be a Hero. And if you have small children that watch the show, you'll know that the It's Time to Be a Hero is one of the catchphrases that they use. They also use Into the Night to Save the Day, but I decided to go with It's Time to Be a Hero. So because of that long title and the busy background paper, the embellishments are super, super, super simple. I really don't put too much on, just a little tiny bit. Working out where I'm putting this chipboard word, I decided to throw on a few little bits of chipboard as well. Just says imagine, um, but I'm just trying to find the right little spot on the pattern paper to squeeze it in. It was actually quite a challenge to find enough white space to squeeze that word imagine in. And I do put a few other little bits of chipboard across the page as well. I just really love the dimension and the texture that that adds to the layout. Uh, and I really love the elements of having paper ephemera, stickers, chipboard, puffy stickers. I just feel like all of those little bits and bobs just really add to the texture and the dimension of your um, layout, which is why I chose to do that again today with the different thickers. I've got chipboard thickers as well as foam thickers. <coughs> Excuse me. And then with the stitching as well, just all those little elements help tie this together. And I think that it really finishes off that layout. And even though it's a super simple design, it really pops and it really looks super extra special because of all those little different elements that you add to the page. Finishing off this with some Heidi Swap Navy color shine and then the Jen Hatfield's gold color shine as well. And then this one is done. So check out the close-up photos that are coming for you now. You'll be able to see um, the different dimension that I added to the background of that um, superhero side of the page. It looks super cute and you can really see all those different elements popping off the page. Thank you so much for joining me. We are on the tail end of our scrap timber now. Only a few days left. Can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Have a really happy scrappy week. Thanks everyone. Bye.